I was just flipping through Facebook early in the morning. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? 5.46. And I was just flipping through Facebook. And once again, as I do approximately six to seven times a fucking year, I come across the same shit about Tropic Thunder as I say six, seven times a year. It's ridiculous. Robert Downey Jr. played this role. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, bullshit. One of the funniest movies not ever made. I was going to say ever made then. And that would have been a ridiculous thing to say. A very, very funny movie. Um, and I thought, Why does this keep happening six, seven times a year? And I've come to a conclusion. What I think it is, is there's these thick cunts that just like getting people in trouble. And because this role that Robert Downey Jr. did was out of the norm, I played it to perfection though, by the way, what these people do is the is they boil a pan of spaghetti and they keep pulling sp pieces of spaghetti out and they keep throwing it against a wall every fucking three months. Oh, nobody's seen it. Nobody's cancelled Robert Downey Jr. Oh, I'll try again. Three months. Whack. Oh, nobody's cancelled Robert Downey Jr. They just keep pulling out these pieces of fucking spaghetti and throwing it at a wall to see if it'll one person will catch it will catch and one person will go you know what you're right this person's right Robert Downey Jr. does need cancelling Robert Downey Jr. will never get cancelled one if you don't know what the guy went through before even to get this role for starters because he was an absolute lunatic he was a drug addict he was an absolute the only person you can closely re closely re resembled was Charlie Sheen. He was as bad as Charlie Sheen. And he worked his way out of it, and then he carried what is probably classed as the biggest franchise ever. He carried it on his shoulders. And you know he carried it on his shoulders, because look what's happened to it after he's died. It's turned to absolute dog shit. Uh, and I, would, I just thought, you know what, I'll go over to Twitter and have a look what other people say. And still, it's just the same old garbage. I mean, a lot of people just call it masterpiece, which is good. But it's very odd. You see, most people think it's... If you go to the normal people... They just say it's a, it was a great movie. I watched Tropic Thunder for the first time last night. I have no words. You can take that how you want, really, couldn't you? Um, but no, most people like it. And I understand, but what they do say is it'd never get made today. And it would get, it could get made today. It certainly could get made today. It's just nowadays, directors, studios, and people of the like don't have the balls to make it today that's the difference it's not it's not people won't like it because most people will would love it they'd think it was hilarious it's the studios that don't want to make it because they haven't got the balls they're the ones that are scared it's and it's the it's the people in the back so yeah it was just a just a note on this movie that keep every couple of months keeps popping up saying how Robert Downey Jr. did something wrong. He did nothing wrong. He played a part to perfection. So uh fuck off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.